Alright, the early bird special is here. Let's start off with last night. I get an email on the PM thing box here. You with me so far, Twinkles? Oh, by the way, it's time for a guy and a girl to look in and see what Framer's doing. Anyway, hey, Twinkles, how are you doing? Doing fine, man. A lot of bullshit going on. Yes. Alright, anyways, I got, um, that thing in the PM box. I thought I was, actually, I was waiting for a message from somebody, and I thought maybe this was it. Because I uh, stayed up and I watched uh, Howard Stern, America's Got Talent, I know. He, uh, it's not for everyone. Neither is Dr. Pepper. Anyway, um, but Dr. Love is. Anyways, uh, she said, uh, do you want a reading? Uh, like astro, you know, astronomical reading, astrology, uh, I said, no, I'm really don't dabble into that. Can you lower that, please? I said, I, I did that, I think I was 22 years old, I went to a lady over there in Albany, Ann Fisher, and, uh, what I remember from it <clears throat> was, um, she said, uh, you have the, the house of eight and the Saturn, or the card of eight and Saturn, or you're going to be in communications, you're going to do this, you're going to do that. I mean, at the time, I was in theater, and, um, I get, well, I think I told her. I mean, it's like self-explanatory. Anyway, she said a whole bunch of stuff, and, uh, yeah, the only thing I remember was I said I had some kind of, the house, the card of eight, the house of seven, I don't know. Anyways, uh, I said, I said, no, I really don't really want to do that, because I remember my girlfriend at the time, she was Greek, and she did it. And uh, I remember she went, and the psychic said that she was going to break up with me, and then went, voila, you know, she broke up with me. So, uh, you know, I just want to, I don't really want to know the future, I want to stay in the here and now. Future is something that we shouldn't, um, that we shouldn't dabble in, because uh, who knows the future, you know. I don't think anyone has that ability, I think uh, we just have something in us that uh, well, we can tell what it's going to be like. Uh, we have, you know, enough information. Anyways, so uh, I said, no, I don't, uh, I don't want it. I said, um, I just got done an email. I said, I just got done watching America's Talent and going to bed. Well, she emails me back. She goes, well, enjoy your television program. And uh, she said, well, we're not like this. We're not like that. We're, you know, we're, we're it's wanted 50 bucks for it too, by the way. I said, well, first of all, I don't give my uh, credit card information, you know, over over the internet. He goes, oh no, no, you, we got PayPal, we can uh, Western Union. Anyway, I was very nice. We we're like with everyone. I was very nice. And she went answer me, you know, saying to myself, you know, here I am. I took the time, and, and it was a good thing. It was just like a little interaction. I mean, there's some people I spent so much time with talk to them all like every day and then boom they just leave they knock you off put pictures up you know they take them off they do this you know it's like moody moody all kinds of moodiness and uh and i know who's to blame for that i just know the way the world is it's just so speed up these days it's just people don't even have the time to pay attention long enough to hear what you have to say and come up with a response they're on to other things it feels like they gotta go around doing everything for everyone, and then yet they lose uh, they lose sight of what's really important. You know, they just they don't get nothing done. Uh, I mean, I, I think about it. I, I think about the time here. Anyways, um, you gotta take a stand, people. You know, you, you uh, and then like a friend of mine this morning was doing such a thing. You know, your true friends are gonna be with you. In good and bad times, especially the bad times. When you're having a bad day and, and no one's listening to you, they don't want to hear it, you know, it's like I, I want to get turned off. I just, oh, I don't want to hear a complainer. You know, it, it's like we're, we're in this day and age where we, where we all have to be strong. No matter what, you know, we have to appear as if we have a handle on things and we're strong and it's all fakeness, it's all crap, it's all bullshit. It's nobody does. Nobody. I'm starting to get an itch on my nose from all this stuff, you know. Every time I, when I have something right, I get an itch on my nose. So, it's like a sign. I mean, I'm full-blood Italian, but I feel like I'm Indian. 
I mean, I remember when I was uh, 19 years old, and I was like going through the woods with my Tarzan outfit. Uh, just felt, it felt like, I felt something up in Prospect Park. You know, we took their land, people. We took their land. You know, we just came and just said, get out. You know, the big bullies here. You know, the bullies. But anyway, this beautiful world that we, uh, you know, karma is, you know, here's karma. You know, that's karma. So, um, let's see. Let's take it down a notch here and we'll be right back. Uh, I have to get going.